When we think of history, we often associate it with certain people or figures from the past who had such a huge influence during the era they lived that we remember their lives and stories even to this day. So in honor of some of the most influential, powerful, and ambitious people throughout history, I have created this list on my recommendations for the top 10 biographical TV shows which cover the life and events of some of the most legendary and amazing historical figures ever. And in this video, I wanted to stay away from the more popular TV shows such as Vikings, Rome, or The Last Kingdom and bring to my viewers some shows that they may not have heard of before. At number 10, it is Leonardo, a historical drama based around the life of Leonardo da Vinci and the various influences on his life that helped him produce some of his most famous works and inspired him to create the blueprints for his many inventions. This series is first and foremost a drama piece set within a renaissance historical backdrop and it places the emphasis more on drama than history which has surprised literally nobody at this point. But if you can put the huge number of historical inaccuracies in the show to the side, you will find a series here that is engaging, filled with lots of plot twists and interesting characters who really bring the world to life. So for people who want a more simplified look at the life of Leonardo da Vinci and in a manner that is easy to follow and access, then Leonardo is my recommendation for you. So at number 9, it is The Last Tsar, a show which highlights the difficulties of being a monarch in a country that is looking for democracy to overtake autocracy and for the power of the royal families to be diminished. This is a Netflix original docuseries which follows the life of Nicholas II, who was the last Tsar of Russia till he was deposed in the Russian Revolution. This is a great recommendation for all fans of historical TV shows as the Russian Revolution is not often explored or displayed on small screen and this show does a fantastic job of displaying the social and political instability in Russia and the viewpoint of the common folk towards the royal family during this time. With only 6 episodes, the plot moves along at a steady pace and throws viewers into the peak of a revolution. The acting by the main cast and the storyline here is great with effective use of narration by historical professors and experts to further expand the story taking place on our television screens. It is also refreshing to see that historical accuracy was taken seriously and the history behind the Russian Revolution was told in an honest, educational and engaging manner. If you're looking for a show to transition you into Russian history and find out more about the life of Nicholas II then The Last Tsar is my recommendation for you. At number 8, it is Catherine the Great, a TV miniseries about the legendary Russian Empress who ruled Russia from 1762 to her death in 1794. Catherine was an amazing female monarch who was able to rise to ultimate power through a male-dominated political court and was then able to use her power to become one of Russia's most effective rulers. The reign of Catherine the Great is known as the Golden Age of Russia and this TV show does a fantastic job of highlighting why her rule has received this accolade as we witness the various political, cultural and societal changes that were implemented during her reign. This show has amazing acting, a fast paced plot and a great historical backdrop to explore, making it a perfect fit for any fan of historical TV shows. And number 7 it is Hitler's Circle of Evil, a docuseries focusing on the life of Adolf Hitler from his childhood to to his eventual rise as the leader of the Nazi party. This docuseries also pays close attention to the rise and falls of the Third Reich, depicting how Hitler was able to take a small irrelevant Nazi party and make it slowly gain power and influence through his extraordinary oratory skills, resulting in the Nazi party being able to eventually take control of Germany's government. This TV series really highlights how the small biases and prejudices in a society could make even regular common folk start harboring hate and racist attitudes towards a minority community. This docuseries does a fantastic job of bringing Hitler's complex backstory to life and he's portrayed in a manner which brings all the psychological and emotional charisma of the dictator in a truly awe-inspiring way to the screen. The show also benefits from great storytelling, narration and set pieces as well. Where the show does stumble though at times is in regards to fleshing out some of the secondary characters and maintaining historical accuracy but Hitler's Circle of Evil is a fantastic docuseries which really makes viewers understand how the Nazi party grew as rapidly as it did and also get a better understanding on the backstory of Hitler and his upbringing. 
At number six, we have Victoria, a TV show based around one of Britain's greatest and well-known female monarchs, Queen Victoria, who reigned as Queen of England from 1837 to 1901, making her one of the longest reigning monarchs in English history and also one of its most controversial. The first season of Victoria focuses primarily on the early years of her reign and displays to viewers how a young queen deals with all the demands and responsibilities of being a monarch and the leader of a nation. The show has a fantastic storyline, set pieces, costume design and plot twists which will engross the viewer from beginning to end and with the fourth season currently in the works this show does a sufficient job of ensuring that Queen Victoria's life is considered in proper detail and not through a rushed production. Victoria is a strong female led show by one of the most important and controversial women in history and is a must watch for any fan of historical TV shows. At number 5 we have Attila the 2001 TV miniseries which depicts the life of Attila the Hun from his childhood to his eventual death while he is at the peak of his power and one of Rome's greatest enemies and rivals. This is an amazing TV show that does a great job of bringing to life the unique warfare and military strategies that the Huns implemented to become a dominant invading force but it also does a great job of highlighting the declining power of the Western Roman Empire and how Valentinian III's incompetence and lack of skill as a ruler caused the weakened Western Roman Empire to be threatened by enemies from all sides. This TV show has an all-star cast including Gerard Butler and Tommy Flanagan and an amazing plot with lots of political intrigue and corruption and some great battle scenes as well. So if you're looking for a show which has a strong leader and king who will go to any lengths to ensure a better future for his people then Attila will be the perfect TV show for you. The fourth spot on the list goes to Resurrection Etrigul which depicts the rise of Etrigul as the son of a bay in the Kai tribe and his eventual role in becoming a legendary figure whose actions would help shape the founding of the Ottoman Empire. Etrigul was actually a show recommended to me by many viewers of this channel and I have to say I'm grateful that they have convinced me to to watch this show as it is absolutely amazing but for all my western viewers i do warn to be prepared for a show that is a much slower burn than anything that you might be used to as there are almost 500 episodes across all seasons so the story is told in a really slow but steady manner which really helps you form strong emotional bonds with the characters and truly get a better idea of the day-to-day -day st struggles and politics etrigul had to deal with Etrigal is a show with a great cast with every primary and secondary actor and actresses doing a splendid job in their roles, except for the actress who plays Seltuk as I felt she overacted in many of her scenes. But aside from the amazing acting, there's also a great storyline with never-ending plot twists and obstacles for Etrigal to overcome, with multiple plot threads eventually all colliding into one big epic story, similar to Game of Thrones. So for a better look at Turkish culture, traditions and history, or just a great historical drama about one of history's forgotten figures then Etrigal is my top recommendation for you. At number 3 is The Crown, a Netflix original historical drama focusing on the reign of Queen Elizabeth II and as England's longest reigning monarch and the longest serving female head of state in world history, Queen Elizabeth has lived a life which will put her down in history books as one of the most influential women ever and The Crown is the show which does justice to her life. The show starts with Queen Elizabeth's adolescent life before she became queen and it will end on season 6 which displays her reign and influence on the UK during the 21st century. This the show has amazing actors across all seasons and the story is told in a well-paced, honest and historically accurate manner, showing Queen Elizabeth as a multi-sided person rather than a privileged monarch. Honestly, there's very little to critique about The Crown. It occasionally stumbles with pacing, but other than that, The Crown is a pinnacle of historical TV shows and displays to viewers the responsibilities, moral conflicts and hardship a monarch has to deal with and just how much Queen Elizabeth has influenced the world we live in today. At number 2 it is Narcos, the Netflix original series based on the rise and fall of Pablo Escobar and this is one of the most fascinating and unique shows I have ever seen from its first opening scene to its final moment of season 2. Narcos never slows down for a minute and it brought one of the most extraordinary shows that I have ever witnessed to the small screen. Narcos is a multi-layered series accurately and engagingly depicting the devastation drugs is causing in America and the resources that has been dedicated to stopping its supply from Colombia. 
while simultaneously depicting the political climate and socioeconomic conditions of Colombia that allow the drug trade to continue to grow and thrive even while it's leaving endless bloodshed in the country. Narcos is an amazing TV show which has an engaging storyline based around Pablo Escobar's life, amazing acting by the entire cast and non-stop plot twists and thrills. I don't really have anything to critique about this show except I found the third season to be a bit weak and not on par with the first two seasons of the show. But this doesn't stop Narcos from being the best TV show about one of history's most infamous drug lords, Pablo Escobar. And the top spot on the list goes to Spartacus, an action-filled historical TV series about a gladiator named Spartacus and his rise from a lowly slave to one of the most feared enemies of the Roman Republic. Spartacus takes everything that fans love about historical TV shows and puts it into overdrive as there is only 10 episodes per season, meaning there is little to no filler. The small episode count results in Spartacus telling a tight-knit story about an inspirational leader who encourages his followers to fight for a better future and put an end to the tyranny of Rome and the Roman Republic. The character development for Spartacus is great and his rise from slave to rebel leader is believable and interesting. The plot here is also amazing with truly mind-blowing plot twists and the fight scenes and choreography in the series is some of the highest quality I've ever seen as well. So if you're looking for a TV show with great characters, amazing battle scenes and fight scenes, Scenes and a story which hooks you in from beginning to end, and then Spartacus is my recommendation for you and also my recommendation for the best biographical TV show created thus far. And lastly, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do like this video and subscribe to my channel as I post videos about historical TV shows and movies on a regular basis. Thank you so much for watching.